In this video, we're just gonna do a quick walkthrough. So first thing you need to do if you're new to it, pop over, create an account. If you already have one, we're gonna log in and we're gonna look at a few things to get started. So like I said, this is the first in a series of videos we're doing. So subscribe to the playlist or the channel and stay up to date with what we're talking about. So just a quick walkthrough. When the website loads, you can go ahead and create a single shipment here. Click paste to paste the address here instead of typing it out all right there. And then once you paste it, it'll auto populate. And then you go down, update your box information and you can get some rates on that there. If you don't have your box dimensions, you want to click, look at a quick rate comparison. You can just type in your zip code that you're shipping to. As long as you have your address selected up here, throw in box dimensions. And it will show you some quick rates. And this feature is pretty nice. You can see really quick the time and who's going to get it there faster for you. Moving down, we got a section for different reports. You ship a lot. That's going to matter to you. Next is the settings. In the settings, you can adjust for things like your default label size and other shipping settings. And we'll go back. Another one to point out is your integrations. Now you'll see there's not a ton of options, not the most popular ones like Amazon, but it's pretty useful. And you can update your save packages, save packages. If you ship in the same box all the time, you can save it and you don't have to update your weight and dimensions every time. And uh, that, that pretty much covers it. You know, you got your tracking emails down here for shipping updates. And then you need some further assistance that's there. And that's it for this video. And the next one I'm going to talk about the top three things that I like about pirate ship or stamps.com, which is the other platform that we covered or the previous platform that we covered. So like I said, that ends this video. If you have any questions, comments, let us know down below. If you're looking forward to what's following, please do subscribe and like this video.